Aloha! In this video, I will demonstrate how to compare strings in Perl. Previous videos that I've created have looked at comparing numbers using if statements, if else statements, and else if commands as well. And as well as we've looked at using um, Boolean connectives like and and or and the exclusive or to tie multiple conditions together. In this video, we want to be able to compare not numbers, but strings. So for example, I might have name one equals Paul, and then I might ask the user, give me or what is your name? Then I can ask, I want to say if, so name2 equals stdin, and I want to compare name2 with name1. So you might think I can say if name1 equals name2, then we can have some sort of condition. But when we're dealing with strings, we can't use the same set of comparison operators. Because this means something in Perl that we don't want it to. Because it's going to try to convert the string into some sort of numeric value and can compare them. But we're trying to see if the strings are equal. So what we do is we use a letter abbreviation EQ for equals. This table from your textbook illustrates the equivalent uh, comparison symbols for comparing numeric values and comparing strings. So instead of the less than sign we get LT which is short for less than. Instead of less than or equal we get LE greater than GT greater than or equal GE equal instead of two equal signs it's just EQ and not equals is NE. So always remember when you're comparing strings to use the proper symbols. This is a very common mistake new students make. Okay, so returning here, so we can say if name1 equals name2, we can print something like welcome back Paul. And I can say else print your new here. And so there we have it. Uh, we're comparing strings using the lettered uh, comparison symbols instead of the uh, numeric symbols, and that allows us to do just that. There are two more points that we need to look at when comparing strings. One of them is recognizing that the user may uh, not type things in the same case. So if the user types PAUL, we want to be able to compare that properly. So frequently what we'll do is we'll set name1 to something like Paul and then use a special function called uppercase to convert the string into all uppercase. And we do that by saying, using uc, stdin. We could alternatively have it all in lowercase and use lc. The result is the same. So we have a standard way of co comparing things. We also can, uh, when we're trying to sort things out, recognize that A is technically less than Z. So when we're trying to figure out the order of letters, we'll explore this in a future video, but uh, letters are, earlier letters in the alphabet are less than later letters in the alphabet. So that's it. Happy coding. Mahalo.